<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past. And today, we're heading all the way back to 1999 for the Toy Biz Avengers Earth's Mightiest Superheroes box set. And of course, this is part of the Marvel Collector Editions. Nice, uh, shiny blue packaging. If uh, if there was ever a collector packaging, it would have shininess to it. Giant Man, Wasp, Ant-Man, Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor. All the original Avengers in one handy dandy box set. And of course, it wouldn't be a box set without the Toy Biz logo. On the back side, a really nice photo of all the figures Take a gander at Hulk, just keep that in mind when you actually see the figure. That's why, uh, you know, prototypes and changes and things like that occur. And uh, for all your toy biz needs, be sure to call the customer service number. I miss that thing. Dang, that was cool. Flip open the front cover and you get to see all of the figures, including some ants that uh, you will be uh, soon opening and playing with, right? That's pretty cool. And then you get to see all the different bios amidst a cavalcade of gorgeous original comic book artwork. Don't forget that proof of purchase and the barcode, and for some reason you're stuck in 1999 and you're trying to find it at Toys R Us. Shouldn't be too hard. These things were on clearance, so one point heavily. So, this is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a retro shiz look back at the 1999 Avengers Earth's Mightiest Superheroes, part of the Marvel Collector's Edition box sets by Toy Biz. And of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And as it clearly states, yes, you get all of the Avengers in their original comic book looks, which is very, very cool. So we'll kick it off with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Two household names at this point. You know, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's make it a little bit clearer. There we go. Let's get down to their size. These are teeny tiny little figures, as you can see, with even teeny tinier little ants. And you get... Two versions of these ants. You get a brown ant, nice detailing overall, no movement. It's pretty much just a slug figure, right? It's a little bit rubbery, the legs and everything will kind of bend, but nothing moves with articulation. And then you have larger and smaller black ants. They have a little bit more paint. They got red eyes, a little bit of a white on their abdomen, which is cool. You can put Ant-Man on one of the ants, the larger one, I would recommend. And you can also put... Wasp to a certain degree. They're a little bit too large, but uh, you get the idea. Brown and black ants. Now with Wasp, teeny tiny figure, pretty good detail for being a teeny tiny figure. Nice face portrait for the most part. Nice colors, right? She does have some articulation. She's got some nice wings. This is just the classic, and I really like the original costumes, original idea of the Avengers. Nice articulation for a tiny figure, the arms and the legs with a little bit of knee. So you can kind of get her in that classic Marvel wasp is flying into action pose. The head will rotate, of course, but it can't look up. And that's, I guess, one of the bummers, but you're dealing with 1999 here and we all know how articulation went. But without this articulation and trying things out, where would we be today, right? So always keep that in mind. But Wasp is definitely cool, along with Hank Pym, the Ant-Man. And I've always liked the Ant-Man costume. I think it really stands out. You got a little bit of black amidst an all red. Kind of looks like those old furry pajamas, like the ones that are made out of pure wool, right? So you got some articulation in the knees and the legs, right? So you get them a little bit more posed out if you like. Nothing at the waist, at the arms, and then you have some head articulation as well. Nice face, nice helmet, very, very cool, very teeny tiny. The best part is, if you get it just right here, <laughs> kind of gets snug on his nose, you could pull the Ant-Man helmet off, which reveals a very blonde Hank Pym, and I do definitely like that. I like that there's a little bit of an element of articulation and surprise with such a tiny figure, and he can hold the helmet in many ways, right? You kind of just situate it on his hands, but you get the idea, and uh, if you want, you have a, a little mini 
Ant-Man, so to speak, for more of your modern Marvel Legends figures as well. He will go quite nicely. And I have to say, coming from 1999 all the way to the present day, it's cool to see that uh, Hank Pym and Janet are still alive and well in pop culture, even though things have changed as far as MCU movies and such go. But the classics are still there, and these are two very cool figures. Now, with Hank Pym as Ant-Man doesn't cut it, well, you got to go for more of those Pym particles and go the other direction, right? So Giant Man enters the fray, and uh, this is my favorite figure out of the box set. So happy to have this guy. Again, love the reds, the blues, the blacks, and he's got his big, huge antenna. And really nice details overall. It's a very simplistic figure with enough articulation to make this happen. And it's just every which way the red has a little bit of shading to it. All over the legs, the arms, it goes all the way around. And that again is something we're starting to lose in this day and age with modern figures. He has solid articulation in the head, it'll just rotate. Be careful of the antennas, just gonna point that out. And he has a bit of a ball joint in the shoulders, which totally works. Single jointed elbows, nothing at the wrists, but you do get a lot of momentum out of this guy. And you can see the beginnings of Marvel Legends, right? A little bit of twist in the waist, knees, the feet are articulated, that's pretty cool as well. So he can go stomping around with his ant pals, or maybe he has to crush the Hulk a little bit just to stop him from going too crazy. But give him a flight stand, and uh, you can get him marching around, ready to join the battle with the Avengers. But I like that, again, sometimes for me, just simplistic articulation is more fun than overly articulated. And it really adds to the aesthetics of the figure. It's nice and clean cut, looks great, and you pop old Janet right there on his shoulder, and it just looks awesome. Simple is sometimes better. Don't overcomplicate it, and certainly with this giant man, it's simplicity all the way. Now, to go from my favorite figure <laughs> to the figure of the box set that's kind of like, well, that's a little bit disappointing, even for $19.99, but we have the Hulk, and this is the original look of the Hulk first appearance. The greens are nice, but he, he, he they went to town a little bit too much with the spray paint, right? The Too much browns in between the greens, it doesn't work. Someone on my Instagram post hit the nail on the head when they said he kind of looks like a candy apple. <laughs> I think you're spot on in that sense. The articulation is okay. It does leave a little bit to be desired because there's nothing in the elbows, you've got the wrist. It's very awkward. It's very awkward to pose him. We'll leave the articulation pins out of it. Those don't look great either. But the knees, the way that it kind of twists at the groin and everything else, it, it just doesn't work overall. This is a great looking Hulk in name and design only. If he didn't have all that paint, well, might be a different story. But uh, for a first appearance type Hulk, I think the face is okay. He's an ugly guy, right? But we're so used to this day and age to being Hulk of a, a certain look. And even though this is based off the first appearance and everything else, it really just doesn't work. This one is a miss. And usually I'm not too hard on old Toy Biz figures because you have to look and go, well, you know, it's back in the day. They were learning, right? But uh, this one... <laughs> He tried, right? Poor old Hulk, can't catch a break, but uh, he does look good with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, moving on to another great figure from this box set, the classic Thor. And when I think of Thor, this is the costume. This will always be the costume, I think, of for Thor. He does come with Mjolnir, whomever holds this hammer, if he may be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Thor. They used to print that on the Mjolnir back in the day as well. It's painted okay. A little bit of brown, a little bit of wash. Nice wash. I'll give him that all day. It's just a little bit sloppy here and there. But uh, with Thor himself, well, the, the head portrait could be a little bit better. But again, have 1999 mindset here. It's okay for what it is. And then a little bit too dark of a wash, I think, on the yellow boots. I do like his feet with a bit of a top wash. I just think they went a little bit too dark. I like his really cool knee pad boots, uh, black part. The cape is nice, like a crushed velvet, right? There's no bendy wire in it, 
but it certainly works, and it's nice to have cloth good capes on a Thor. And then you have his big old Thor helmets with his golden locks, and you're not going to get much movement out of it, right, because of that hair. He does have some ball joints in the shoulders. He's got single-jointed elbows, and he will spin at the wrists. And at the waist, he'll kick up single jointed knees and then articulation at the feet that they were just starting to put in. And again, like I said, I really like the way that this Thor came out. He might have a little bit bigger hands than he should, uh, but I still definitely like it. And you grab old Mjolnir here and you kind of have to slip in everything. He doesn't open his hand and he looks good. Nice, silvery, shiny plastic to him. He poses well. He actually displays well with the articulation that they've given him. It is limited, but it does work. And one of my favorite aspects is giving this guy a flight stand and putting him flying around, right? Doing battles, calling down the thunder. It's very cool. So I really do like the way that this figure came out. I think he works with all the different Toy Biz Marvel characters of the day, but more on that in just a few. And finally, the last figure of the box set is Iron Man, the first appearance Iron Man in that gold costume. He also kind of had like a silverish type costume, but gold is the name of the game for today. And it's a very different look for Iron Man. Sure as heck different as what we're used to seeing in movies, cartoons, and everything else these days. Lots of screws on this guy. He feels like the Silver Surfer and Molten Man, if you have those figures of back in the day. Very limited articulation, a lot more limited than a lot of the figures in this box set. Mostly in the arms, he'll spin at the wrists, and as you can see, a little bit more marbleization. The paint works and it doesn't, kind of gives him a wash, but then... It's not always even, right? He does look like kind of a, a, a bronze sort of guy that's a, kind of sort of rusting, we'll say. Not much articulation in the legs at all because of the skirt piece. He has single jointed knees and big clodhopper feet. But what he does lack in articulation, he makes up for in little tidbits, little throw-ins here and there, like the antenna right here on his shoulder, which, of course, right, they don't... They don't make that on Iron Man no more. No more antennas. But it's cool to see from back to front and the fact that it extends. And it's just a nice little touch right there. But the big one, of course, is that the helmet comes off. And I really like this look for Tony Stark. I think they nailed Tony Stark of that era. And he can hold the helmet. It kind of just fitted onto his hand. Let me have this one. But Tony Stark with the little mustache and everything else, he looks great and right here like i said you can technically have him holding the helmet which does work hey we're, we're dealing with limited articulation here we'll take what we can get for back in 1999 but he does look good and like i said just with him standing there with his helmet with the antenna up it's just very classic it's very old school comic books and you go ahead and pop the helmet back on there fits in and he just looks good. This was the original look for Iron Man, and it's crazy to see how far we've come in terms of comic books, movies, animated series. Just the very idea of Iron Man has changed so thoroughly, but it's nice to see the original standing right before us here and now. And again, like I said, with the Avengers, with this box set, you can put him with any number of old toy biz Marvel heroes like Spider-Man or villains like Galactus, the big old baddies that used to fight the Avengers on a, a well, monthly basis, we'll just say, have Thor going up against Galactus, or a la the Marvel Power Hour, hanging out with the Fantastic Four. I'll try not to go too animated. We're keeping this comic book. But first appearance, Hulk along with Thing. Maybe they're doing battle in a cave. Huh? Maybe something like that. The Super Scroll, the Inhumans, they all match up. Now, scaling will always vary with these old original Toy Biz figures. We know that, right? For all of us has collected these over the years. But it's fun to see the simplicity of old toys. It's what I love. You can give me new figures, new articulation any day of the week, but the old figures will always held a special place in my heart. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the 1999 The Avengers Earth's Mightiest Superheroes box set. And a huge shout out and a thank you to my friend Gavin Hignite for gifting me this box set at this past year's San Diego Comic Con. Never had this box set, so it's a lot of fun. And I do hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. So you've heard my thoughts. 
And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything toy biz. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who continues to watch my videos. Thank you so much. 50,000 subscribers already. Can you believe it? I sure as heck can't. But thank you so very much. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>